After 45 days of building, it's time to compete. There are 41 three-day regionals in the month of March. We built ours all our own and it's just our little robot and we did everything and it's going to be awesome. Cool. Here we come. <laughs> we are the Robo Dubs and we're here to say, watch us win every time we play. On your board! Let's go! Today is the first day of the competition and I'm really excited because I never thought that it's going to be really this big. Day one is devoted to setting up pit areas, holding practice matches, and passing a mandatory pre-racing inspection. Put it in the center. I'm safety captain. I got a button. Make sure we got enough clearance in our aisles and everything's put away nice and neat. The Rambotics team is getting ready for its first practice match. Right away, there's a problem for the young men from Ridgeview. The room is on malfunction. I mean, it's, it's not. It's not working properly. The keeper pin that holds the shaft in. Is bent. Without a functioning arm, their defensive strategy cannot work. In Annapolis, the Robo Doves are ready for their first practice match. I want to get you real close up front, okay? We'll have the three groups there. This will be the second match. This will be the third match, okay? Come on. Come on. Their robot performs well during practice, and the arm functions as expected. The rookie team has met yet another goal. It's a different story for the Miss Daisy team back in Philadelphia. They run into problems as soon as they walk onto the field. All of a sudden, their robot's arm won't work. I don't think we're going to be in time. No, all right. Back to the pit. They ruined the, the, the thread inside the, the cylinder so that it was really just sitting in there and then the air was just like leaking out. The team repairs the air leak, but 10 seconds into their next practice match, their robot dies. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Dad, the radio broke. Yes. It's a one in a million hit. It probably wouldn't happen again in a thousand matches. This is like so statistically improbable, it's not even funny. In the middle of an emergency repair, the inspector returns. You need to be inspected so you can compete tomorrow. Come on, let's go. The robot passes inspection but the team has missed all its practice matches. It's not a good feeling. I mean, your whole goal on practice day is to show off for the other teams, to get your drivers some confidence. It's just not going to happen today. Drivers have to go in cold tomorrow and just drive. Welcome to the St. Louis Regional. The Wentzville team also faces last-minute inspection problems. Guys, gals, your bumpers are illegal. Okay, you've got to get them back on right. We found out our bumpers weren't right. And they did it. They, they got the bumpers on and got it to the competition just in time. Their technical problems solved for now, 
the team finally gets to test their robot in a practice match. So we're just like, let's just start doing laps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As day one ends, the Robodoves are optimistic. Good day or a bad day? Yeah, we did good. More be even better. I am really nervous for tomorrow because I guess we are fine, everything is fine, but I don't know how we are going to do tomorrow. It's day two of the competition. Every team has one goal, win as many qualifying matches as possible to make the playoffs. Robots score by circling the field and earn more points by moving the balls off, over, and back onto the overpass. Penalties are given for aggressive behavior. The Wissahickon team must get off to a good start after its disappointing practice day. We are definitely gonna have a good time two days. They win the first match. And the second one. And the third. With no signs of slowing down. I think we're the only undefeated team left. The Wissahickon drivers push their robot and win every game. We're 5-0, and, oh, um, and you know, there's a couple other teams that are still undefeated. They still have to play yet, so they could actually jump us. We're tied. We're exactly tied. This is ridiculous. We need to get 10 more points. Yes. It's cool. It's cool. The Miss Daisy team finishes the day 8 and 0. Robot coming through. And the Wentzville team is hoping for a strong showing as well. Disaster strikes in an early crucial match. The top of their robot arm breaks apart. team struggles to repair the arm before the next match. They make it. But two matches later, the arm breaks again. Yeah, I see that we lost the wheel. The well broke? Yeah. Well broke. When oh, yeah, you slammed yes. straight into the wall. We are redoing our robot because our arm snapped, the weld snapped because Eric ran into the wall. We actually dressed the arm up to so look a little fancy, a little uh, bright lavender and lime green. So we're hoping the flashiness will add to uh, our success. Take the blue ball! No, no, no! Blue ball! After surviving their broken arm and rebuilding it twice, the Ratchet Rockers end day two with a win. The Rambotics head into match one, hoping the repairs made to their robot's arm hold together.
the match ends in a shattering crash. In general terms, the first round was terrible. You know, our robot died. The pit crew replaces a faulty circuit board and brings the robot back to life. Sort of. It will now only drive in reverse. The driving team must adjust on the spot. With an amazing performance by the driver, the Ridgeview team scores enough points to remain in the hunt for the playoffs. We're driving like awesome. Oh, awesome. 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 We end today at 16th out of 43. That's not too shabby when you consider uh, some of the problems we had. They've survived, but we'll have to do even better tomorrow. And you can do it. Got it? All of these robots were built in only six weeks. The team's found out... The rookie Robodots line up for their first qualifying match. I told them that I would help them develop in the preseason. I would take them through kickoff. I would help them build their robot. And I would see them to the competition. But once the competition day, we're going to have to fly on their own. get off to a great start. And then something terrible happens. A drive chain problem knocks them out of commission. The team repairs the drive chain and heads to its next match. But they've lost their edge. The team's ranking takes a dive. Despite their setbacks, the Robo Doves refuse to give up and recover some ground. Very, very good arm operator. Thank you. And 60 teams, we are 31. I hope the two games that we have tomorrow, we will do fine. So. Two more wins. Think about it. Think about it. You keep looking up because there is no limit. Imagination is more important than knowledge. That's what the kids bring to this process. We can teach them and show them everything they need to know. But with their visualization, that's where it has to begin. And, and, and that's where it starts. A perfect blend of art and science. We have some work to do tomorrow. Okay? 